pub crawl. Here we are going on a pub crawl in Maidstone. Going on a pub crawl means that you go from pub to pub and have one or two or perhaps even three drinks in each pub. And by the time you get to the end you've forgotten which one you went to in the beginning. The first picture you're looking at is of Gabriel's. Gabriel's is a pub with a pub garden. Now it's important to remember that drinking in pubs is only allowed after the age of 18. If you're younger than 18, you can go into a pub, but you're not allowed to drink. And if you're younger than 14, you're not really supposed to even go into a pub. So therefore, many pubs have pub gardens where their parents can take their families and have a few drinks with the kids as well. The second picture you're looking at is of a pub called the Duke of Marlborough. The Duke of Marlborough was a famous English general in the 18th century. And many pubs are named after famous people, kings or queens, or um, sometimes they just have strange names that you don't understand. Many pubs have pub signs with pictures on them. This was from the old days when people couldn't read, so they knew where the pub was. The third picture is of a pub called the Hogshead. A Hogshead is a measure of beer or rather a barrel of beer, as you can see from the pub sign. It says Ale House, and it's not very far from the English word ale to the Danish word Earl. The fourth picture is of a pub called Earl's. I think the name is probably much more modern. In the old days it was probably called something else. If you look on the sign to the right of the door, it says 1945 Ale. Many pubs have special offers in different kinds of beer. And some pubs are what they call free houses. It doesn't mean that the beer is free, of course. What it means is that the pub is not tied to a particular brewery, like Carlsberg or Tuborg or whatever it might be. So you can serve whatever beer you like in the pub. And here we are actually inside a pub. This pub is one of the pubs closest to your college, where you'll be going. Now, the most important thing in a pub is, of course, the beer. British beer is not quite as strong as Danish beer. But then, of course, you drink it in larger glasses, so that in the end, the effect is the same. There are many different types of beer in Britain. In the first picture, you can see two strange long objects with the names of beer on them. These are beer pumps. And with these pumps, you actually pull the beer up by hand by pulling the pump backwards, which pumps the beer up from the cellar. Next to these hand-pulled pumps are some pressurized pumps where you just press a button. This is more like what we're used to in Denmark. There are many different types of beer. And uh, you can get what they call real ale in Britain, which is without CO2, or you can get it from the pressurized pumps, which is with CO2. And Danes are more used to this type. If, if you go into a pub in Britain and expect to get beer like you do in Denmark, you will get a surprise, because most English beer is much darker than Danish beer. If you want the kind of beer you get in Denmark, you will find many of the same brands, Carlsberg and Tuborg, but you will find it called lager, which is different to what we call lager in Danish. The second picture shows the view from behind the bar. You can see what the hand pumps look like from here. This is where the barmaid works. In the third picture, you have a view across the bar, across the corner of the bar. In the top right-hand corner, you can see a menu card. And in the left of the picture, you can see different kinds of crisps hanging from the wall. If you go into a pub in Britain and ask for chips, you'll get told to go to a fish and chip shop. So always ask for crisps. The most common flavors are plain cheese and onion and beef and barbecue, but you can also ask what they have. The next picture shows the dartboard. Darts is one of the most common British pub games, and many people play it all evening in the pubs. Typical games are 301 or 501, where you go down from 301 to a double, 
at the end. The next picture shows the fireplace in the pub. Many pubs are very cosy and have an open fireplace which often has a fire in it in the winter and one of the nicest places to stand is right in front of this fire. On the fireplace you can see a chalked advertisement for Webster's Green Label Cask Ale. Many pubs have a guest beer and this is served over a certain period of time. Then the next month they might have a different guest beer. The next picture is a, another view of the fireplace and the Webster's advertisement. So you can see what the pub looks like inside. Here's another view of the pub showing that it looks very much like somebody's private home. The British are very keen on their pubs looking like a second home and in many cases they actually are. Here we are back at the bar again for our next round. In Britain you often buy drinks in rounds. You go to the pub with your friends and say, my round, and you buy drinks for everybody. Then the next person has a round as well. Sometimes if you're with an English person in the pub he might say, it's my shout, which means he's going to buy a round. It doesn't mean he's going to say, I want a beer please! Many pubs also serve food, or pub grub as it's often called. Here, if you look at the menu card, you can see that today they're serving Cajun chicken, which will be a kind of hot chicken, for £3.95 with salad. And salad is not just lettuce, it's uh, salad is a mixture of lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers. They also have gammon and chips. Gammon is uh, in Danish skinge. And chicken curry with rice. All for very reasonable prices, around four pounds. The last picture shows that it's not just beer you get in pubs. You can also buy spirits such as uh, Bacardi and whiskey, cognac, martini, gin, all the ones that you can get in Denmark. But remember that if you are under 18, officially you're only supposed to be drinking soft drinks in pubs. Soft drinks are everything from ordinary orange squash, orange juice, to Coca-Cola and 7-Up and all the fizzy drinks that you know in Denmark. In Britain they often have brand names. So look for the brand names such as Schweppes.